Good night, YouTubers, and thank you for tuning in to the Dice of Our Toy View. You remember when I did a video about the Daddy Long Leg Spider, which was quite a very unseasonably wintering sort of hibernator? In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and grab the webcam today, eh? Because uh, I'm not going to go too far, as I'm pretty much going to grab the webcam here, because I know that this webcam would love to play out, because, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to put it right down in the floor here. But anyways, I'm not going to be looking at the Daddy Long Legs spot eh? because it would probably give my friends, you know, arachnophobia. I dare say if you suffer from arachnophobia, it's double trouble, isn't it? We're just going to be taking a look at this. Only just one flat product here, right? It's going to be a flip-up origami flapping bird's product. And let me just go ahead and flip it close your eyes, I think. And it's called the Multicolored Feral Pigeon or multicolored feral pigeon, or city feral pigeon, feeding and gathering mass frenzy, flock versus strawberry shortcake 12 pack. Hey, strawberry shortcake, one of those, you know, popular franchises that are seen first in American um, postcards, and now it's become a freaking toy range. 10 pounds, 99 or 11 pounds. <laughs> and there's, oh, that's going to be a massive sugar hit, thinking about strawberry shortcake. There you go, that's the back of the packaging. As you can see, there's two different colour variations. You get a pink pigeon and a... Oh, that's an orange pigeon, right? And you've also got a scarlet-looking red pigeon there as well. Pretty amazing. It does have those very similar bobs to 2020, whenever I think of pigeons. Uh, back then, <coughs> when I did a video about pigeons back then in 2020, it was, it was interesting, I suppose, saying. Hey? And God, <laughs> it is cold outside at the moment though, eh? But, who cares? Let's just go and get the pigeons out and the major components out as well. And I've got a funny tune. There you go. That looks quite nice. There you go, there's that last pigeon here as well. I don't know about you, but, you know, some of these toys, they do take a long time to finish, uh, especially if you've got that big truck to do, eh? Um, in fact, just like the other two big trucks I did last year, I've got another truck being built at the moment though, eh? But um, it's going to take quite a while um, to finish it off because of how complex it is. And there you go, it's just a typical rock pigeon locked off thingy and track master Luke is taking over the whole video, eh? But most importantly, it's got a name on the back of its tail, eh? There you go. I haven't missed a skirk when I'm making this whole video, eh? <laughs> And uh, let's take a look at the other one here next. This one is a brown version of, well, of the one which had like black bars, even though it's a blue bar. Okay, so here we go. It looks quite nice. Lovely aesthetics. I've made one of these pigeons before. It's a brown rock dove, fill pigeon, as it's called. With Jack Master Luke taking over on the background, which is pretty much the most, well, the most of all, well, Annoying things that are ever on the whole of that toy view ROM, and then we've also got this, which I'll presume is a pigeon with white bars on it. Although I can still see a hint of orange, which is quite strange, unless it's eyes here as well. Eh? Looking quite a bit orange and brown looking, looks quite a bit chocolatey and a bit fudgy as well. Eh? And it looks like this I think it's called the great white bar, actually, it's called the grey white bar. Yeah, grey white bar feral pigeon, not great white though, it's a shark name obviously, eh? or an egret name or perhaps, but um, looks quite nice, looks fairly nice indeed, and let's take a look at the much more colourful pigeons here, eh? and I'm actually getting a very diabolical sense of getting cold or crappy, oh just have to keep my other thing here, <laughs> oh crikey, that's so Oh my god, it's why one of these moments go back in when I did the Red Fox product. Oh my goodness me, isn't it too cringy to do toy reviews back in winter? Maybe if it wasn't for me, maybe I should try and, you know, basically make myself better though in like, you know, springtime. Or maybe when the warm weather is back in. Oh god, I've 
pigeons are going to love this. I don't know, I'll be barking on the whole sink. But let's hope not. <laughs> okay, let's go back to where I was. <laughs> that was a very minor interruption here, sorry about that. But um, let's go ahead and take a look at the cakes. The much more colourful pigeons and the strawberry shortcake itself. Not the doll, okay? So it's not the doll here. And I'm not talking of the other strawberry shortcake toy here. Okay, without sounding quite cheesy though. Okay, so let me grab this here. Um, it's supposed to be a box. Uh, which is basically a... Well, you can put strawberries inside here, so you can pretty much store those if you want to make strawberry shortcake. Well, obviously it's a cake box. It's a box cake. How weird is that one, hey? You can put strawberries inside of it here as well. And there's the other lid here. Sorry about track mass salute, he just keeps on taking over videos, doesn't he? He always does that all the time. And uh, that's the top of the cake here. And what you can do is actually add the strawberries onto there. And I have to say, the um, attention to detail on these things, it's just so good. Absolutely good. Uh, that is good in style. Mmm, that is very delicious. Oh wow, that is beautiful, I love this is actually quite a nice looking cake. Oh wow. That is really awesome. In fact, it reminds me of Pavlova. Looking at strawberry shortcake, this type of cake. Oh, that's going to be a massive sugar hit for those pigeons, I suppose, eh? Barely I could tell you something about, you know, cakes being this healthy though. Well, not always healthy, well. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look at one of the colourful pigeons here. This is a scarlet red fill pigeon, I think. As you can tell. It's got the name on the car here. I need to do it clearly as track master Luke is taking over the oh taking over this whole freaking video, eh? Oh, I thought track master Luke was about to do well, but there it is. There's the name. Scarlet Red Fool Pigeon. Next is this one here. It's got like a yellow and orange is that like an orange beet colour combination here of the yellow. It's like the eyes, isn't it though, eh? It's quite a very interesting and unusual sort of coloured pigeon, eh? And it's strange that it says, it says orange fell pigeon, but it looks like it's been water coloured and it looks like it's been dropped a lot of water colour on it there. It looks like it's gone quite wet. It looks almost quite a bit like a rusty looking pigeon, I suppose. Eh? It's a bit splattered <laughs> earlier on, eh? And we've also got the pink pigeon, which is, of course, the female one. There you go, she's got. Little tiny eyelashes, a trio of them, obviously, and there's also like a pair of brown eyes surrounded by an orangey yellowish sort of eye ring. And there it is, there's the name Pink Feral Pigeon. I believe that pink pigeons are quite real. You might be thinking, ah, oh, but I thought you were going a bit too absurd and you're being irrelevant. Well, I am being relevant because I know that in the news recently we do know that there are pink pigeons still around England. And I'm not even joking, okay? <laughs> Go ahead and search up pink pigeons and you find out what it is. Um, yeah, actually I need to make the pigeons look like they're eating on the cake. As some sort of delicacy even when they're being quite sloppy. Ah, go away crack master Luke. Go away. I want to see the pigeons eating their cake gourmet. There you go. Look at that. That looks fairly nice, eh? It's, it's a fairly nice bush tucker, if you ask me. Well, almost bush tucker, really, eh? Look at that. You can actually clip on the pigeons' beaks to the box unit cakes. It looks like they're devouring the whole cake. That is remarkably amazing. And I mean, isn't that so... Oh no, Jack Master Luke, you have ruined everything. Okay, that was very cool though, but anyway, look at that. Look at the manic feeding frenzy of pigeons, which you never ever have believed on that. That there is pretty much an awesome set. So anyways, I'm just going to pack away all of the components on this set. And there's something quite interesting about these strawberries, is that they're very heart shaped. That's they're in the shape of a heart. But one other peculiar thing is, is that if I grab um, all the strawberries here, you may have noticed that a lot of the strawberries, are, in fact all of the strawberries have got like yellow seeds. That's quite...
quite realistic guy in the way they've added in the attention to detailing. That is fairly nice. Isn't it though, eh? This is totally amazing. You can't go wrong on what a strawberry is. Even if it's been marked by pencil, yellow coloring pencil, um, it looks just the part. Just to resemble what a freaking strawberry it is. And I don't have any commercial connections to the strawberry shortcake uh, franchise. Obviously, it's just a gold toy there, but the one I'm actually looking at is just a cake toy with pigeons. Fancy that one, eh? And it's quite funny, we haven't gotten the pigeons that it's been like 2021 all over again because, funnily enough, we didn't have pigeons um, at first. We had water birds, which is quite strange, but actually, off first off, I would have never thought, wow, this is completely and utterly strange. But, anyways. I hope you really enjoyed in this whole Fuka toy view and hopefully I didn't clobber Mrs. Mummy like Sparta or Mrs. Mummy Long like Sparta. Anyways, if you really enjoyed in this very, very interesting video, eh? And we've got the big Christmas penguin right over there as well. Please give this video a good like. Subscribe for more Fuka like video. Oh, you know what? I'm actually gonna let you guys just uh, subscribe to my Fuka channel for more videos in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And bye for now. At least my talking ain't rough. That's one thing I can tell you.